you know, obviously, to say the least, obviously really proud of our team. We beat a, and I say it, you know, I mean, Ben has his team playing as good as anybody in our league right now. Physical, won five out of six, playing really, really well. You know, we just got off to this kind of horrendous start, foul trouble, got ourselves in a hole. We just talked about just, just settle in, settle in. And the way we ended the half, I thought was really critical. You know, that Devontae made the big play, Brian, great pass. And then obviously we got, went to our 13 to, uh, to two, three zone and just kind of kept a really, really good offensive team off balance. And then what do you say? I mean, Dream and Devontae and I mean, Brian Tyree the last couple of weeks. Wow. I mean, that's, that's as good as any Garden College basketball. So good win for the Rebels. It's kind of a broken record, but Brian in the second half just completely took over at 27 points to Mississippi State's 24. I mean, does he just get into where he just flips the switch when he needs to in winning time? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know if it's flipping a switch, but, but he, he's just he, he's playing downhill. He really is, and he's so fast. And he's one of these guys that these, these strong guards in college or the NBA, they get their shoulders by you. They get you on their side, and he's got such great strength. And what he has, he's got great bounce at the end, at the rim. I mean, he can get up and then finish over, you know, a do and some shot blockers that are good. So, yeah, he got in an unbelievable zone and then just started making threes, Ben. And so it was, like I said, as a coach, it was just fun to watch. All those lines, you kept imploring in the first half, drive, drive, yep. drive. It was there finally a point where maybe the message got across? Yeah, I mean, just we just kept settling. I mean, Adeem settled, Blake kept settling, you know, and, and, and those guys were going at the post and getting fouled. You know, they were getting paint touches and we weren't. So finally, you know, we started driving the ball and playing downhill. Devontae was, was great too, playing downhill. And uh, really the critical part in that first half was really Hadeem. You know, long rolls, got some great passes. He kind of kept us at arm's reach. You know, he kept that thing at eight and 10 when it could have gotten out there. Was it for him, for him there, Kermit, in the first half, was it about uh, just taking over with the mindset of being physical, or was it about the better angles? You talking about Hadeen? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we were trying to go to – there were ice and ball screens. So we were trying to go to our middle ball screen action. And so they were just keying so much on Brian and Devontae that they were keeping the hedge guy there a long time. So the long roll was open. And those guys gave him great passes. And then he made some really nice post moves with somebody on his back. I just thought what Adeem had, he's been struggling with his balance. As you've seen, and tonight, shooting balls at the rim, he had his shoulder going to the rim. He was going this way, and uh, so he played with power tonight. Have you seen him improve as a finisher around the rim in the yeah. last month or so? A lot, a lot better, a lot better. I mean, just, you saw him early. You know, I, I think conditioning was a big part of it. Uh, you know, we'd, we'd shoot, fall down a bunch, balance was bad. Tonight, I just thought he gathered himself, played on the balls of his feet, and uh, he, he absorbed contact and scored, which that, that's great to see. You talked about mixing those zones. Just how important was it to be able to use the one through one, the two three tonight? It seemed like you guys really kept him off balance there. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, uh, you know, I've been running that through probably 13 for about maybe, I guess, about 13 years now, and that's one of the best it's been. I've, we've had some big wins by doing it, you know, but, you know, we got in foul trouble. So it kind of got it going earlier in the second half. You know, we had two guys with three and two and Brian with two. So we we're going to try to run 13 to double fist. And then we just got in a good rhythm. We really started matching up. Uh, you know, we took the scout into the game, kind of where they were when the ball went to the baseline and we had evolved into a two, three. So, uh, yeah, it was just credit our guys. They did a wonderful job in it. Carl, you've been at this a long time. How many times have you seen a guy get in the zone like that? You know, uh, Personally, just on, on the team that I've coached, I mean, Rick, I, it's, I don't know if I've ever had a guy like that as a guard. You know, just go get 40. I mean, we had a guy named Giddy Potts at middle, and he led the league, led the country in three-point field goal percentage, and he could get on runs and make six or seven threes, but not at all three levels like that. I mean, he scored at every level. I mean, he was just at the rim, step back threes. I mean, yeah, it was. I've, I've been coaching a long time. That's, that's probably the best I've ever seen it. Did you, is this what side did tonight? Is this what you expected yes. when you recruited him? Yes, no doubt. I mean, he was the number one junior college big guy in the country, and he came in, and as we all know, I mean, some junior college guys, and he fought culture a little bit, you know, and, uh, and I think ever since the Florida game there, uh, when we didn't take him on the trip, we just seemed like from that point on, he's really gotten much, much better. His maturity and practice is great. He's a, he's a wonderful kid. You know, he just when sometimes when these guys get tired and you coach them direct, they get bad body language. And so now he's through that. For the for the most part, he's through it. And you're right. That's what we thought we'd get tonight. He he was terrific tonight. You guys obviously 
lost some games early in the SEC slate that you can't get back. Right. The way you're playing right now is there a different kind of confidence level with this group that, yeah. that maybe you can get back into that picture? No doubt. And we, we, we talked about it. I mean, it's just in our league, in the SEC, you're never out of it if you've got 10 or 12 games to go because there's so many great opportunities of quadrant one, quadrant two wins. And so it's just, it's just where it is. And so, yeah, I mean, we've got a long way to go, but obviously – tough but what a great opportunity on Saturday you know and at Kentucky and uh, you know a quadrant one opportunity now they're they're terrific and all that but but you just get you just get keep having these great opportunities so yeah we're just gonna like I said we're just gonna keep that mantra try to win February and our team is off to a good start and and we've, we've reduced practice times we're down about an hour hour and ten minutes and I think our guys look fresh and playing well Anything else? thanks for coming right, guys. Thanks, guys thank you